Hello my dear students, welcome back to Teacher Koi YouTube channel. So this time, we are going to discuss projectile motion, launch at an angle with the height and range of a projectile. So if you're new on my channel, you can watch the video lesson related on this topic on the description box. Before we proceed to our discussion, let us find out the learning objectives. So this time, we are going to investigate the relationship between the angle of radius and the height and range of the what we call projectile. Let us first uh, identify the different characteristics of projectile launch at an angle. So the first one, the initial velocity of a projectile is broken into its horizontal and vertical components. It also follows a parabolic trajectory and the horizontal velocity always remains the same. And the vertical velocity changes at constant acceleration due to the what we call gravity, or it is equivalent to negative 9.8 meter per second squared. Let us also identify the different key components that you may encounter in the what we call projectile motion. So the first one is the what we call angle of projection. The angle formed by the initial velocity of a body and the horizontal plane through which the body is thrown. And for the next one, which is the maximum height, that is the highest vertical position along its trajectory. And for the range, that is the horizontal distance the projectile travels. Let us also identify the different variables involved in projectile motion. So for the first set in the what we call x-axis, so these are the different variables. And for the y-axis, these are the different variables. We may also encounter the other symbols such as R, which is equivalent to the range, and we have the theta sine, which is the angle of what we call projection. In our previous video lesson, we discussed that the projectile motion is a form of motion wherein an object given an initial velocity is thrown or projected and is allowed to be acted on by the gravity in a curve like that. So these objects are called projectiles. So the carpet followed by a projectile is called a projector. We also learned that the horizontal component of a motion is independent of the vertical motion and remains constant throughout the entire trajectory. And as the projectile moves upward, the vertical component of its velocity decreases until it reaches its peak height. Then, as the projectile comes down, the vertical component of velocity increases due to the acceleration of gravity pulling it downward. Are you familiar with this kind of sport? Yes, very good student. So that is sepak takraw. It is also known as the kickball. It is a team sport play with a ball made of rattan or synthetic plastic between two teams. It is a popular sport played by the children in the Philippines and was the Philippine national sport until it was replaced by the Arnis in 2009. Sepak Takraw is a sport activities that can be considered to involve projectile motion. In this figure, you can see the BY, which refers to the what we call vertical motion. So this one and also this. And for the horizontal motion is we have the Vx. Horizontal velocity or the what we call Vx is still constant. While the what we call vertical velocity which are the Vy can be described in three parts. It is observed that as a projectile ascends from point A to point B, the upward vertical velocity by is decreasing. For example, from 20 meter per second becomes 15 meter per second up to 10 meter per second to 0 meter per second. 
So when it reaches its maximum height, it becomes zero. This is because the direction of the gravity is opposite to the what we call projectile motion. As the projectile reaches the maximum height, which is the point B, it momentarily stops causing a vertical velocity equal to zero or the Vy equals to zero. When the projectile descends from point B to C, the direction of its motion is in the direction of the gravitational force, hence the magnitude of its vertical velocity is increasing. Look at this diagram. So it shows different trajectories for different launch angles that have the same initial speed. The launch angle determines the maximum height, time in the air, and maximum horizontal distance of the what we call projectile. When a projectile is launched horizontally, the initial launch angle is zero degrees. In this case, the projectile travels purely in the horizontal direction with no vertical displacement. Gravity acts vertically downward, causing the projectile to fall at the same rate it would if dropped from the same height. And the angle lunge involves between 45 up to 90 degrees. At these angles, the projectile follows a higher and shorter trajectory compared to low angle lunges. The range of the projectile decreases as the angle increases from 45 degrees. So eventually, reaching a minimum range at launch angle of 90 degrees. And for the launch angles above 90 degrees, where the projectile is launched upward, in this case, the projectile travels in an upward arc and falls back toward the water. So, the high angle launches are commonly seen in the what we call fireworks or mortar launches where the objective is to propel the objects vertically into the air. In angle launch projectile, it plays the what is called vital role in setback tactile. A 45 degree angle allows the ball to travel a significant distance while also giving enough height to create the net of bridge to the side target. So this one is one. So this angle maximizes the range of the projectile while maintaining a relatively flat trajectory. So influencing the what you call speed, accuracy, and strategic positioning of the ball. So by mastering these different angles, players can enhance their gameplay and create opportunities for them, team, to excel in this exciting games. Let us have some sample problem number one. The object is launched at a velocity of 20 meters per second in a direction making an angle of 25 degrees upward with the what we call horizontal. Let us find for the maximum height reached by the object and the horizontal range of the object. If we are going to look at the illustration, it should be like this. So from here, we have 20 meters per second upward. So, it creates the what we call 25 degrees. Okay. So, since we need for uh, to find for the maximum height, so we need to say we need to find for the dy and for the horizontal range, which is the dx. So, let us first identify the what we call maximum height reached by the object. Uh, in finding uh, or in solving for a problem, the first step is we need to find for the given first. So our Vy or Vi rather is 20 meters per second and our angle is 25 degrees and for our gravity is we have 9.8 meters per second squared. And for the formula, we need to use uh, for this formula since we need to find for the Vy. So our formula here is we have Vy equals to Vi times sine squared divided by twice the gravity. Okay? So, we need to substitute the formula. So, we have from 
uh, by we have 20 meter per second and the sign and our angle is we have 25 degrees squared and then divide by the two that you are going to multiply in 9.8 meter per second squared so the next one if you are going to multiply the 20 meter per second sine 25 degrees squared it becomes 71.442 and so on meter per squared and seconds per squared so divide by the 19.6 meter per squared and second per squared so obviously our dy is we have 3.65 meter since we need to find for the range so we are going to cancel the second squared and also this one the second squared so since we need to find for the height so we are going to use the meter so this will be our dy okay same as the given so the formula that we are going to use for that is we have this one so since we need to find also for the time so this is the formula that we are going to use in finding for the time so let us substitute so we have 20 meter per second sine 25 degrees divided by 9.8 meter per second it should be 8.452 meter per second divided by 9.8 meter per second squared so since we already divide this one so it should be like this so it becomes 0 0.8624 meter per second and multiplied by 2 so the answer for that is we have 1.72 seconds so we need to cancel the m since we are trying to find for the time so our time here is we have 1.72 seconds so this time since we already have our time we need to find now for our dx or this one so our dx, if you are going to substitute the formula here, so it becomes 20 meter per second multiplied by cosine 25 degrees and 1.72 second. It becomes dx 31.18 meter. So we need to cancel the s or the second since we need to find for the range. So we are going to use the meter as a unit so our answer or our dx is we have 31.18 meter okay so as easy as that and here are the different uh, formula that you may use in answering the problem for the angle lunge vertical motion And for your assignment, of course. John wants to express his crush, Sarah, by launching a bouquet of flowers into her window using a catapult. However, he needs to determine the perfect angle to launch the flowers to achieve both maximum height and maximum horizontal range. Assume that Jan's catapult can launch the bouquet with a fixed initial velocity of 10 meters per second. Also, let's assume that Sarah's window is 20 meters away horizontally from Jan's position. So, can you help Jan determine the angle at which he should launch the bouquet to impress Sarah with the highest possible range and the highest possible height? Remember, the goal is to make it both impressive and hilarious. And with that, I will leave you a simple quote here. Always remember class. But like a projectile launched into the sky, 
we are propelled by God's grace and strength, soaring towards the fulfillment of His divine plan. So if you learned something new in my video lesson, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. And that's all for this. Thank you and God bless everyone. Thank you.